Hi and welcome back to our tutorial for the WP Ultimate CSP Importer plugin. So today we are going to see how to import data to the LearnPress courses. For importing, we need a CSP or XML file. I have prepared a CSP for the courses. Let me show you that. So I have mentioned all the post fields. In the post title field, I have given the course name as a value. And in the post content, I have given a short description about the course. Next, I have given fields like post excerpt, post date, post name, post author, post status, featured image, post format, common status and pink status. Then I have included courses fields of LearnPress. In LearnPress duration, I have specified 5 hours and 8 hours for the course completion duration. Provide the value S in block expire duration to allow the course to be blocked when the duration expires, otherwise mention no. In the block finished field, I have mentioned no to not allow the course to be blocked once the students finish this particular course. And specify yes to repurchase this course. Provide the options for course repurchase to choose from. You can specify values like keep, reset and open. Mention the course levels like intermediate, beginner, expert or all levels. Next, I have mentioned the number of students enrolled for this course in the LearnPress students fields. And then, I have mentioned the maximum number of students allowed to join this course. Specify the number of times the course can be rechecked. To enable the finish button, mention yes as value. To make the course featured, I have specified yes. If you want to feature any review about the course, mention the review inside the feature review column in your CSP. Provide the URLs in external link field to redirect the students once they enroll to the course. Provide the course regular price and sale price. Specify yes in the number required enroll field to provide you access to all the course items and take the quiz without logging in. Add course requirements. To provide multiple requirements, specify the values with pipeline. Provide course target audience. Specify multiple values with pipeline separator. I have specified the course key features and FAQs. So you need to specify the question and answer separator with comma. But to separate multiple questions with answers use pipelines. And now set the course evolution value. You can specify values like evaluate lesson or evaluate final quiz or evaluate quiz or evaluate mark or evaluate questions.
provide passing grades and mention the user ID in the course author field. Specify yes if the course requires enrollment. Then next, provide the curriculum name, its description, lesson name and its description. Provide lesson durations and set the value for lesson preview either as yes or no. Provide quiz name and quiz description to link them to the course. To minus marks for skipping questions, provide the value S. Provide the passing grade for quiz. And next, I have mentioned the quiz retake count in number values. And finally, I have specified the course category and tag values. So now we can see importing these courses to my website. I am visiting the Ultimate CSP Importer plugin menu in my WordPress dashboard. You can try this import in our free version also. For now, I am doing with a pro version. Upload the CSV. And choose the post type, Learn Press Course. Click continue. And next, map the field headers with appropriate WordPress headers. So here all the fields are mapped automatically that my CSV headers matches the WordPress field headers. Once done, save mapping with a name. And click continue. Media handling is useful if you want to import any external URL images. Click continue. Now click Import. Yeah, it's done. The import is completed. So now let's verify the result.
So all the course details are imported successfully. Let's see the related lesson. Here all the provided lesson fields are imported. Yes, and the quiz fields are also imported. Yeah, that's it. We have imported the courses. Hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.